Welcome to this time lapse. I'm an artist, AJ Alper, and I have this fledgling YouTube channel. I'd like to thank those people who've subscribed so far in helping me build this channel up so that people who feel like they could benefit from these videos actually have a chance to see them. This is of a young man named Logan. I got his photo off of Sketchy, and I was particularly attracted to this photo because of the strong color, the oranges, the interesting orange-red pattern in his shirt. The orange background, oh, so I knew I could achieve this orange if I just kept my colors clean enough and had enough transparency in the paint. When you paint with color in a transparent fashion, you tend to increase the intensity of the color because you have the color working in a couple different ways. You have the pigment of the color itself, the orange, which reflects the light back at you. But if you have transparency in the paint, or especially if you're using a transparent orange, then you also have the light bouncing off the white of the panel in this case I used white gessoed panels and you have the light bouncing through and then coming through the transparent color you have to excuse my cat meowing in the background it's almost dinner time for him and his dinner time is at five o'clock and now it's 4 53 and no one's paying attention to him so he's just gonna keep on meowing through this commentary sorry for that um, Yes, yes, Pasha, I know. <laughs> it's feeding time. So I, I kind of lost track here what I was talking about. Um, sorry for you, um, for you listeners. Yes, Pasha. Okay, so I'm just going to ignore Pasha and then keep on plowing through. The, um, so I, I want to do a video at some point where I do talk about my palette and color choices because I'm finding that when I tell people what colors I use in my palette, they tend to say, oh, I've never thought about using those colors, or that's different. I've never seen a palette like that. And I never thought my palette was so unusual, but I just have designed it so that I can get the richness of colors that I want as I need them, but also can gray them down to get the widest range of possibilities. And and so if you want a video that talks more about my colors, just give me a comment and let me know and that'll encourage me to do it. There's a few things about this painting I knew would be a challenge. The first thing is the angle of his head. That's a particularly difficult angle to paint because you're looking at the underside of the jaw and the, some of the foreshortening of the head. This was going to be a challenge, but even more of a challenge is going to be the pattern in his shirt. That is very hard to paint with oil paints because uh, there's so much contrast in the shirt. There's these bright whites, and then there's a very dark, bright orange, and then there is a almost like a navy blue or dark blue ruling line in between the both. I started by doing a fair amount of drawing to try to get this pattern in place before I really started to paint. But I do my preliminary drawing and paint. What I really should have done is stopped, grabbed a pencil, done some very light drawing, and established the pattern first and then paint. But hey, I like to throw caution to the wind occasionally, and this one I did some light drawing with the paint and then just dove right in. The thing that makes this hard, though, is where you get a little bit of the orange creeping into where it would be white, then you really have to struggle to get back to the bright white that you want it to be in the finish. And where you get some of the white or some of the blue into the orange, also you have a similar problem. The fact that the orange is so bright and the white is so bright compounds that difficulty. If it were a, a grayish color in the, the light area, then it would be easy because you would just keep on adding the complement until you got back to a gray. But getting back to white is rather difficult with oils. You can achieve it by laying on thicker and thicker paint, but that also creates other issues. Or you can try to wipe away the color as you work, which I did on some parts of it. But what was nice in the end is coming back in with the dark blue rule. It actually helped clean up the painting. So more about this painting of Logan. The interesting thing about it and why it was partially attracted to this photo is the pattern really is in stark contrast to the loose style brushwork of my painting. And it really does give the whole painting a lift when you see this very flattening style pattern that is in contrast to the sculpture nature of his face, you do have these competing ideas, flattening and spatial idea. The flattening is enhanced with this very bright orange color in the background. The real key in this painting is to really get the flattening pattern 
of the shirt to read properly and the orange in the background against the sculptural nature of his face. When I've put this up against my other paintings, it really did stand out, the bright colors. It made me really want to use a lot more vivid colors in my painting. We'll see if this painting has that kind of effect on my work. Thank you for watching this time-lapse video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give a comment, a thumbs up, or subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you.